Hi everybody, I'm Matt and 3NWV and welcome to the September 2022 POTA News and Stats Update. The upward trend continues this month. There were 13,588 activations, an increase of 5%, done by 2,567 activators, also up 2%. They made it to nearly 5,000 parks, 4,952 to be exact, which is up 8%. Only 43 DXCC entities this month, which is down a little bit, but the QSO total stands at nearly 550,000, up 15%. 20 and 40 phone continue to be the QSO honeypot, and the activating window is starting to shrink just a little bit as fall settles in here in the Northern Hemisphere. In the U.S., N2NWK, KE8SZL, and K7CAR sit atop the stats by activations, parks, and QSOs, respectively. In Region 1, SV1CIF has both the activations and the QSOs, with M0VOG hitting the most parks. Region 2 outside the U.S. sees HI8DL activating the most times and parks, with VE3THR having the most QSOs this month. And similarly, in Region 3, JH2XEM got out there the most times to the most parks, while HS3NBR reigns in the most QSOs. As usual, a big thanks to all of the POTA hunters. You really are what makes POTA work so well. Thanks for your participation. Our most active hunters this month are K9ICP, Bruce, with just shy of 1,000 unique entities hunted. And 82CD, Toby, with just shy of 2,000 total hunted QSOs. Finally, in our Bailey Sprott POTA Everyday Challenge, we see the field holding steady. We have five activators, which you may notice a correction from last month, still in the running for having activated every day in 2022. Congratulations and continued good luck to those five. There are 25 who've managed to hunt at least one QSO every day, although from the table you can see they usually manage a lot more than one. In POTA news, the old Radar Award has evolved into the new POTA Rover series of awards. Rather than requiring activators to measure and enter distances, the new rover awards are based on transitions between different park entities within the same UTC day. This can be determined using the log data activators are already submitting to POTA, and the automation needed to issue those new awards is already in place. Rover awards will be issued retroactively for activators who have completed eligible multi-entity activations in the past. Just give the system a little time to go through the thousands of existing logs. New awards will be issued with a seven-day delay period built in to ensure activators have time to upload all the logs associated with a new rove. A huge thanks to everyone on the dev team who has made this change possible. That's all for this month's update. Next month is the Halloween edition, so get out there and scare up some POTA fun.